I feel a little cold out. Hey there angels and demons, it is Vosco bringing you another video. Today we are reacting to something brand spanking new on my channel. It is Good Omens. I have heard good things about this. It was the worst pun in history, but I am going to claim it. Um, from Morgan, Morgan Terry, who recently started reacting to this over on their channel. They've been speaking very highly of the show and I think they really, really like it. This seems like it will be up my street. I was big into like Buffy, Supernatural, that kind of shit. So I, don't, I can't say for sure if it's definitely like either any of those things, but I'm excited to see what the fuss is about, especially because this was like the second most voted for thing on my poll, which is insanity to me, but I'm excited to give it a try. If you're new, hi, I'm an idiot. I put videos up on the internet reacting to shite just like this. If you want to come along, click the subscribe button down below. Also, if my face looks blotchy and like my eyes look more panda than usual, it's because I've just finished reacting. The re video recorded before this was the episode, this, the second last episode ever of She-Ra. And that is just like, my emotions took like a non-consensual gangbang, okay? It's just, let's just leave it at that. Things you need to know about me, the, the full, raw, early, uncut version of all these reactions will be available on my Patreon, where you'll also get access to the episodes a lot earlier than usual. I think I'm usually one or two ahead on Patreon. That is Hamish, he is my emotional support Highland Coo. If things get emotional and or scary, he comes out and he is my emotional support. I think it's David Tennant and Michael Sheen that's in this. But either way, let's uh, bring it up and get started then, shall we? So here it is, and let's click play. Let's go, Prime. Oh, Prime original, nice. Prime, go watch it on Prime. Support war. Oh wait, this is called, this is season one, episode one in the beginning. Apologies, I should have said that. Should have, apologies, anyway. Warning, oh, okay, not war, warning, okay. Current theories on the creation of the universe state that if it were created at all and didn't just start, as it were, unofficially, it came into being about 14 billion years ago, 4004 BC at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. This too was incorrect. <laughs> I love how specific that is. I'm loving this introduction to the- this is great, this is very- Okay, I'm, I'm on board so far, I'm on board, I'm on board, I'm on board. By almost a quarter of an hour. A it was created at 9.13 in the morning. 9.13 in the morning! Correct. The whole business with the fossilized dinosaur skeletons was a joke the paleontologists haven't seen yet. This proof was a joke that the paleontologists haven't seen yet. Ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Should you say them pronouns? The Earth is a Libra. The Earth is a Libra. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm a Libra. Hi, fellow Libras, hands up in the comments. This is excellent so far. Yeah, let me know your star signs in the comments. I'm a Libra. It does not suit me, like, when you read the little blurb about it. I am not an indecisive person. I'm incredibly decisive and it always annoys me when it says that, but I'm a Libra. October 17th. You may be feeling run down and always in the same daily round. A friend is important to you. You may be vulnerable to a stomach upset today, so avoid salads. <laughs> Help could come from an unexpected quarter. Okay, so that's going to be important to this episode then, right? Uh, you may be feeling run down and always in the same daily round. So we're going to get introduced to a character who's feeling that way probably. Like they're in a grind, a constant mon monotonous grind. A friend is important to you. Okay, so a friend is going to be important to them. Oh, Adam and Eve, it I'm guessing. as it will end with a garden. In this case... It starts as it will end. It starts as it will end in a garden. So I'm guessing that like the Garden of Eternal Life type reference or something there. Garden of Eden. Here we and go. with an apple. Ah, I've seen you on some of the pictures. Oh, hi. Well, I went down on a lead balloon. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? I said, well, that went down like a lead balloon. Yes, yes. Has the lead been invented? Balloons haven't. Not very subtle of the Almighty, though. Fruit tree in the middle of a garden with a don't touch sign. And put a new. <laughs> put a do not touch sign. It's like don't step on the grass. I love David Tennant. Lost it already, have you? Gave it away. You what? I gave it away. They're a vicious animals. It's going to be cold out there, and she's expecting already, and I said, Oh, oh, he gave it to He's such a cutie pie. Who is this? So we got Crowley. We've not had this one's name yet. Demon can get into a lot of trouble for doing the right thing. 
Yeah. <laughs> be funny if we both got it wrong, eh? It would be funny. But I did the good thing and you did the bad one. <laughs> oh my god, could you imagine? And then they both get kicked out of like heaven and hell respectively. Oh, he's put the thought in no. their head now, no. Wouldn't be funny at all. It would be, would be a little funny. <laughs> Good Here comes the rain. Be the narrative of certain Aww. things occurring in the last 11 years of human history. That's in cute. strict accordance, as shall be shown. I brought down every London area mobile phone network tonight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, wasn't easy. What exactly is that done to secure souls for our master? Oh, come on, think about it. <laughs> Fifteen million pissed off people to take it out on each other. <laughs> it's not exactly. Mm. But it's up to me. Yes. Interesting. You know, this sort of, it really isn't my scene. Your scene. Your starring role. Your starring role. Take it. Interesting. Like I said. The moment we've been working for all these centuries. Yeah, what is it? Centuries. Our moment of eternal triumph awaits. Triumph. And you will be a tool of that glorious destiny. Is it something that's going to start a war? Because at the very beginning of the episode, it it zoomed in on the word war, which I thought meant that that was going to be a prominent key feature of the episode. I didn't mention it at the time, but... Tool. Yeah. Fine. What is in the basket? Show us what's in the basket! More apples? Ciao! The way he walks. What's that mean? Ciao. It's Italian. It means food. Croy was all in favor of Armageddon in general terms, but it was one thing to work to bring it about and quite another for it to actually happen. When yes. Kane was shit, 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 shit. Shit. in Hollywood in 1975, it was because... Armageddon, whatever this is, is, is BBC Radio, no fucking way! These fuckers keep taking over my radio in the car, it's so annoying. What was I saying? <laughs> it's gonna cause Armageddon whatever's in this basket. So more than just war. Interesting. What the fuck could... Okay. Oh, Crowley, didn't you? Why do you consume that? You're an angel. It's so shit. It's nice. You dip it in soy sauce. Oh, I wonder then. Does Crowley and whoever this is, I don't know if we've still not got his name yet, have they started to fall in love with the human world? Like, all the things that it can offer? Because you saw Crowley driving and listening to music and you see him sitting enjoying food, sushi. Hmm, interesting, okay. Without, of course, letting them know that's what you're doing. I, I do know. I've been on Earth doing this since the beginning. So it's Crowley. It's a miracle he hasn't spotted you yet. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm guessing it's your friends. Miracles are what we do. Oh, it's just a bit Oh, do we have any egg and cress sandwiches? Oh, 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 Bella. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, here's Bloody. Sorry, we had to borrow your husband. Ah! Earth is the single most joyous co-experience that two human beings can share, and I'm not going to miss a second of it. Dad, uh, we get back to dinner, Dad. I'll get back to you, honey. Oh, my God. You're meant to be with me, you useless son of a bat! Wow! What's up for a transition? That was glorious! <laughs> okay, so you've got two babies about to be born. One where the, the mother and father at least are together, but interesting dynamic. And then this other one where it's like the this the politician and this really, really young, could be his daughter type aged, giving birth to his child in an ambulance because, yeah, and now it's just cut instantly to this. Mrs. Darling will arrive and give her back Master's child. Oh, wait a minute, okay. Everything is ready. Ah, so it's getting swapped. But then why was why did it show us two pregnant couples there? They're preparing to give the baby to the girl in the ambulance, right? But they're probably instead gonna give it accidentally to the other two. Maybe? There's got to be a reason. Places. Here we go. It's not gonna go according to plan. I didn't get a job. This, this, this girl's gonna be important. She's got too many questions, she's too... They're gonna try and keep her out, but she's gonna get involved in she's maybe the reason that the babies get swapped or something? I don't know. Probably an oversight. Yes, of course. You could make sure there are biscuits. Keep it out of the way, it was an easy job. Okay, she's gonna be important then. We let him know when to come up. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not gonna argue with nuns. Nurses know what they're doing, Deirdre. I'll see you when it's on. She'll be in room three. Right. 
Good, good luck. He's, he's secretly thrilled about this. Okay, so these babies are so getting swapped, right? They're taking home the demon spawn, and then the other ones are taking home, I don't know, maybe their kid or son? I don't know, I have no idea. Have you had expected funny eyes or things are going to get a little bit kids? Or a little pale? Just another hand. Ah, now she'd be a... Oh, my God. Do you have do you know that your daddy wedding kids? He doesn't. Take him up to room three. Room three? Do you think he'll remember me when he grows up? No. Oh, that he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> Play that he doesn't, that's a good point. That's a good ass fucking point. Okay, so three babies. Where does the other baby go then? Does she get one? Does she take one away? Does she smuggle one away? I guess we'll find out. Your lady wants to sleep, won't they? Oh. Twins. Twins. Nobody's ever anything about twins. Oh, look, look, this one's yours. That one's someone else's. Just looking after him. No, no. This one is definitely yours. Your ambassadorship from the top of his head to the tips of his hoofy hoofies. I have the honor, sir, to report myself the father of a regular Y chromosome son. Now we just have to. He's one of those fucking glorious. Take him away for a minute to weigh him and the usual. <laughs> this father of a male boy son is all yours, Mr. Okay. So where does that baby go then? Where's the baby? Expensive and maybe American. Human communication go, the human wink is quite versatile. For example, yep. Sister Teresa's meant. Where the hell have you been? We're ready to make the switch. Sister Mary's answering wink meant. This child is the adversary, destroyer of kings, angel oh, of no. the pit, prince of this world, and lord of darkness. But I can't talk now because there's this outsider here. Sister Mary, on the other hand, had thought that Sister <laughs> no. Teresa's oh, wink no. was more on the lines of. Well done, that Sister Mary. Switched over the babies all by herself. Now, indicate to me the superfluous child, and I shall remove it. What a little tyke, huh? <laughs> so they got given. So they got given the British couple's kid. They've been given the Antichrist. But where has their child gone? Um, seeing him makes me understand what's important in life. It's not work. I'm gonna teach him to play baseball, and on Sundays we'll go fishing. <laughs> If I could roll my eyes any harder, I think I'd give myself a physical injury. Satan, please give me strength. Warlock, then. It's an old English name. A good name. So they think, they all think that this child is the, the demon child. They think that that's what this child is. Hence why they're trying like Damien and yeah, okay. Hello, Warlock. Warlock, what a fucking name. I mean, there's always Adam. Adam. Okay. Adam. Oh. Yep. Baby discreetly adopted. But he grew to be a happy, normal child. No. And then grew further to become a normal, fairly contented adult. And perhaps that is what happened. What actually, wait, 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 what actually happened to the poor wee bastard? Did they eat him? <laughs> what happened to him? I'm going to head canon at the um, But do you know what? It would be really interesting because it's the third one. He might come up at some point. Like, just pop back up again. Okay, interesting. Oh, golden hair, they say, right? Okay. Call Aziraphale. Call Aziraphale. Aziraphale. Sorry. All lights to London are currently busy. <laughs> she took down the tower, she had to what? That's fucking great. He disrupted all the cell service. Yep, your own fault. A zero fail. I'm going to forget that. You've no idea. My dyslexic brain is already upset. I love the way he dresses. For sure it was the Antichrist. I should know I delivered the baby. Oh no, delivered, delivered, no. Handed it over. An American diplomat. Really? So everybody thinks that that's where the baby is. Everybody thinks, except the one nun who knows that the baby is with the other couple and is called Adam. No, she she is the only person who knows that then, right? I'm trying to think. Crowley knows the, the face of the 
the father and it was he was told room three not four so he knows that much information but he he still thinks that it's with the americans right no gravel accidental source yeah no more old bookshops yeah i noticed that his place was filled with books he's developed a love for a lot of human stuff is he going to be convinced by crowley to kind of I don't think Crowley wants this to happen either. I think he likes the human world and the human comforts. Hmm. Here in the world we're talking about, there's some little temptation I've asked you to come before me while you're up in Edinburgh for the festival. You can't say no. <laughs> I was just up in Edinburgh for the festival. <laughs> I'm loving all these British references. It's bloody great. Oh, God. Right, okay, so he has covered for him a couple of times then with a few things. Okay. 1793. Yes. Hey. The reign of terror. Was that one of ours or one of yours? He's getting a ticket. Can't recall. We had crepes. No, oh, perfect, there it goes. Helpful. Very helpful. Ooh, there you go. Mm. He loves the food. That was scrumptious. <laughs> so, what are you in the mood for now? Not very big on wine in heaven, are they, though? Well, well, the blood of the Christ. Chateau Neuf de Paps in heaven, or single malt scotch, or a little, little fruit fruit. Is that what he's working on? Is he? I don't know if he's doing it knowingly or if he's not, but do you know how at the beginning the uh, other two demons were like, well, I tempted a priest, well, I tempted a blood. Is he trying to get an angel? Because that would be the biggest. Like, flex of all, surely. I mean, I know that he already did Adam and Eve, and technically that's a massive flex, but like, hmm, interesting. Okay. Cocktails with umbrellas. I am an angel, you are a demon. We're hereditary enemies. And yet you get on Get thee behind me, foul fiend. After you. <laughs> that night, Arthur and Deirdre uh -huh. proudly took the baby they believed was theirs. That's my point. Whole sea bubbling, the dolphins and whales. Everybody turning into booby 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 fish stew. Anyway, it's not their fault. And that's I have heard rumours that your boss really loves the sound of music. Oh my God! Fancy spending the time of sea watching. What's wrong with the sound of music? I like the sound of music. I feel a little called out. Literally, would you rather that they all perish in the fire? Wow. Wow. Okay, but that one that one nun knows. She's gonna be important because she's the only one that knows. She is important. Interfere with the divine plan. It's the upbringing that's important, the influences. Mm. The evil influences. That's all ah, do. that's why they tried to leave it with the... Uh, I'm going to teach him baseball! He's a boy! He's a manly man! He has a Y chromosome! Piece of shit. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, but Adam's going to be brought up with not that. Interesting, okay. Overseeing his upbringing. If we do it right, he won't be evil. All good, he'll just be normal. It might work. Godfather. Well, I'll be damned. It's not that bad when you get used to it. <laughs> and it's the wrong fucking child! Oh no, five years later. Oh no, and they've been helping with the wrong kid. God, this is a mess! <laughs> Six years before the end of the world, no teach. It's the wrong child. It's the wrong fucking child. Oh my god. Will you sing me a lullaby, Nanny? He, oh, they hired. They actually hired. Of course they did. I don't know why I'm surprised. I don't know why I'm surprised. He had way too much fun with this part. He just like look at him in that outfit. He looks fucking glorious and the hair and he just looks amazing. David Tennant can pull off any motherfucking thing. He can pull off any look. It just. He's just. <laughs> a Scottish icon, man. He's such a Scottish icon. 
interesting camera angle. That's that's really beautiful. The earth behind them, it's almost like... I think that's what it's trying to tell us. It is trying to tell us that like he is the one that's standing between a lot of these forces and earth. Kind of with this positioning here between with earth behind them. But it's so interesting because you usually have the eye line in front of the person, not behind the person. So I wonder if that's to represent his disconnect from the other people in the room. Okay. I mean, that would be that. And then he's got it to be even more cropped in picture. Hmm. What you do is praiseworthy, but obviously. Well, that makes sense because it's like he's closer to the heaven side, Aziraphale's to do with the earth, and that's what the light is behind him. We've done everything we can. All we can do now oh, he's got a haircut! The hellhound will be the key. Shows up at three on Wednesday. Right. You've never actually mentioned the Hellhound before. Can't wait to see the Hellhound. Oh, yeah. It's the start of it all. The boys meant to name it. Um, stalks by night. Throat rip or something like that. But, if you and I have done our job properly, then he'll send it away unnamed. Mm. What if he does name it? There must be some way of stopping it. If there was no boy, then the process would stop. Yes, but there is a boy. He's over there. Something could happen to Also forgetting that this isn't the right one! <laughs> this isn't Adam. Adam is the, what, the actual... Okay. He's an angel. He's not going to kill anybody. I've never actually killed anything. I don't think I could. Not even to save. But he thought about it. For a second that he thought about it. Crowley's whispering in his ear. Has Crowley been doing this this entire time to like have like a bigger Crowley scheme to like turn an angel? I don't know. And I had a silent Jessica and I got her. You're rubbish. Excuse me. Excuse me. What a shame. Right, you know, you are actually rubbish. Start using your angel magic. Use your angel magic. Comes the... the here comes the hellhound. Let's see it. You're sending it to the wrong boy. Go find your master. Oh, wait, the hellhound is to sniff out the, the master, though. So the hellhound will go to Adam, not this boy, right? Oh, no. Last one. Hey, I'm going to have a hand, mate. Oh. It's late. Comes a oh, he can, so he can heal. Oh, he can, like, heal and bring little... Like, I don't know, anything back to life or just small critters? No, Doc. Oh, dear. <laughs> Wrong boy. Wrong boy. Uh, the right boy yeah. was playing in the woods with his friends. About that. Oh, Adam. Adam. That's you, huh? Oh, my God, what the fuck is that thing? Holy shit, that thing is terrifying. Okay, so you... And the birthday boy. I, you have so much hair. And invented the best game. And like the reddest lips I've ever seen ever. Are they are they real? Or has this been like I feel like the hue and colour saturation on this scene has been like turned right up. This feels like an editing thing. Than a makeup thing. Or is it a makeup thing? It looks like it could be a makeup thing. Big dog. What kind of dog you can have fun with? Oh no! It's gonna change form! It's gonna be like a chihuahua or something ridiculous, isn't it? A little dog. Little dog. Yeah. Maybe. There it is! Oh, there's your hellhound! There's your hellhound! Oh my god, he's so cute! He's such a cute little dog! Yes, but you told them you invented the Spanish Inquisition. 
started the Second World War. Wow. Some humans beat me to it. That's not my fault. Ooh. Something's changed. Oh, it's a new cologne. My barber suggests. No, 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 I know what you smell like. <laughs> oh, do you? Do you know what he smells like, do you? Hmm. Okay, you've adopted a child together and now. Okay, noted. Welcome. Drink. Welcome to the end times. Fuck. <laughs> I am processing. I feel like I just Crowley is an interesting character. I definitely need to spend a little bit more time getting to know him. It could just be because he's a demon and he likes being pernickety like that. But I just some of the stuff and the way that he was doing things and some of the stuff he was saying makes me think that he's trying to corrupt the angel. <laughs> Aziraphale or whatever his name is. I'm sorry. I my dyslexic brain is not going to handle that name. There was a lot of stuff that happened through that that I'm like. This is going to be important. It says it begins and ends with a garden. Uh, there was the whole Libra thing at the beginning, which was very, like, prophesizing. Adam has got a dog named Dog and is actually a hellhound. He's going to be coming into his own power, but he seems like he's been raised relatively normal and he seems like a nice little guy. Whereas despite their influences with the other boy, he still turned out to be a little bit of a dick, which doesn't surprise me because I don't know who his father is. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see where it goes here. I didn't expect them to go, like, this quickly with it. I thought maybe, like, this would be, I don't know, like, I thought it would be taken a wee bit slower. Like, it would be the... We found out like maybe the boys get to like five years old or something. I have no idea where it's gonna go. I've got five other episodes of this season and then there's another season. They need to find out who it is and I think it's gonna be the other nun that will tell them. She's gonna tell them because he handed the basket off to her. So I reckon that's where they're gonna start to try and find out who he is and where he went and blah 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 blah. She's gonna know. I don't know if she's gonna become another key character, maybe not, but I think she's coming back up. Yeah, I don't know where it's gonna go. I genuinely have no idea. This type of show is very difficult for me to get a read on where I think it's gonna go because it's got that kind of humour, that twist to its humour where it's just... It, it might not go where you think it's gonna. It's good and David Tennant and anything is always a win, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to keep watching. I really enjoyed that. Hopefully you guys did as well. Don't forget to thumbs up the video, to click subscribe. And uh, we did this really cool thing on my channel where we leave fake spoilers down in the comments down below because loads of people love to real leave real spoilers and spoil shows for reactors, which is annoying. And I do have mods, but they can only do so much. So I'm going to ask you guys to help me out by leaving fake spoilers down in the comments section down below because then I won't be able to tell the real spoilers from the fake ones. And if you want access to the full one hour and nearly 10 minute long version of this reaction, you can click the link in the video description down below. It will take you to my Patreon. You'll also get access to the episodes earlier too. The next episode might already be up on my Patreon by the time this goes up. I don't know. Yeah, I will catch you next time with another video. And until then, haste you back, guys.